You know, up until 1937, smoking marijuana was uh, legal. It was still stupid, it was legal, but all of a sudden we decided we were going to outlaw it. Well, nobody's outlawed <laughs> marijuana. More people smoke it now than ever, ever before. But some states, some states, and I'm not familiar with this state, but some states have legalized the use of marijuana for medical reasons. You know, how, how uh, compassionate, you know, how not compassionate could be that be? Shouldn't, shouldn't people be allowed to make that choice? story coming out of Washington has lit up Twitter and Facebook. Congressman Ron Paul and Barney Frank will be introducing a bill that would end marijuana prohibition. Well, removing it from the jurisdiction of the federal government and allow the states to regulate it like they would alcohol. And, you know, this is, it seems to be strange for a lot of people, but, you know, I'm only going back to 1937 where that's the way it was handled. Also, because the states legalize it for the use of medicinal part purposes, and it is helpful for people who have cancer and are getting ke uh, chemotherapy. So this is not a great, uh, a, a huge radical idea. It's something that uh, was legal for a long, long time, and uh, the war against marijuana causes so much hardship and accomplishes nothing. Do you worry, sir, that this opens the door to more drug use, sets the wrong example sends the wrong signal. It's an honest question on my part. Do you ever worry about that? You yourself? No, are because I, I think I think it's I think it's much worse because kids today uh, have an easier time finding marijuana than they can alcohol. And uh, how many cases of uh, drug addictions were prevented by the laws? Do the laws really do it? Would it put you, putting you in prison for about five years? Do you think that would have helped you? Would that have cured you? No, this is this is a medical problem. It's not a legal problem. You shouldn't be a criminal because you have a problem with drugs. I think we should look at the federal drug war and I would say the federal drug war has failed so we should reject it. When I talk about changing the law I want to go back to the constitutional approach to a problem like this and that is through the states. Uh, up until 1937 there wasn't even a, a law against marijuana and, and at that time they just passed a law to tax it. But hemp is a, is a fantastic product. It, can, it makes better alcohol, I mean, it makes better ethanol than does corn, it makes clothes, it has all kinds of product, it was very helpful in World War II, and so many of these jobs now went to Canada. Canada takes the hemp, they raise the hemp, they make these products, and they sell them back to us, and then we wonder where our jobs are going. So I would say, let's legalize hemp as well.